while you all said you wanted me to do more gaming things, and by all I mean the dog looked at me funny. Well, I did say I'd get back into gaming, and there's no better way to leave than throwing yourself off a cliff. I was in Asda just before Father's Day, looking at the tat that they had in there, having found nothing really too good in Poundland, when upon a shelf next to the bottle of chocolate, or the sticker that you couldn't eat from the previous video, there was this. It didn't have this crack, I need to put a... I have to put batteries in it to make sure I can make this video. It is from ARB Gaming. It's a retro pocket games with LCD screen. Fuck it! We all know these things, they exist everywhere. I could sit here and do a melodramatic voice, but at the end of the day this is what it is. And um, it's fucking tiny. As per the drawing it takes there. The instructions, as far as I'm aware, don't exist. Um, <laughs> I couldn't find any, this is just a piece of card. But yeah, it's an LCD screen. Here's the many, many languages. Conveniently, I think they spot that wrong. Play your favourite retro games wherever you go. Includes over 108 bit games. So you know what they don't remember is, your favourite arcade games, uh, none of them are on here. There's no Mario, there's no Zelda, there's no Sonic, there's no... No anything. It's just the same old bootleg ports that were on that Soldier Boy cheapy console that he tried to do. And you can go on Wish.com and buy something that doesn't look like this, but it looks like a Game Boy Advance. And I bet my left arm that most of the games that are on here will be on there. Well, anyway, I've uh, retaped the package together for um, some reason. I think it was so I could uh, do the dramatic introduction. I've. Uh, Invested in proper recording software, so I thought, yeah, I might as well make the most of it. Now let's open her up and see. I have already been in here. You know, I had to put batteries in it. It's pointless me really doing all that lot for me to put three batteries in, turn it on, and for fuck all to happen. I think it's been 30 seconds. I'm probably allowed to swear now. Awesome. Tits, guns. Oh, yeah. It's me. He's probably demonetized already. I hope you do. Alright, that's the tape removed. Ooh, it does put up a price with this plastic. Here's the console itself. I call it a console and it's the furthest thing from. Let's just have a check on the cardboard. Just in case it doesn't contain the instructions, you never know. It does! <laughs> Thank you. Should have looked hard. Come on. Take them in. Oh, well, no, I've lost it. We've lost a corner, man down. Now I'm going to have a look at this first because anyone will, who buys a, uh, buys a dodgy console will in fact tell you that these are normally in Laugh Riot coming from China where their um, translating machine appears to have developed some form of mental disease. So yeah, you've got all your buttons there, they're all there, whoop de doo de doo Control the manual, yeah, it's a little bit grammar off. Requires CA, yeah, not included. Don't sit, batteries at the battery composition, so batteries you in a figure two, replace the battery. Well, imagine if we now the appears have actually um, got the English machine to work properly. Do not short circuit the supply terminals. I didn't plan anything. Do not mix all the new batteries. You can't make me always remove exhausted or dead batteries. I never really called them exhausted batteries. I normally just call them flat. But yes. Ooh, there's some troubleshooting here just in case you are that thick. Now, picture showing on LCD screen. Check if your console is turned on. <laughs> Get a bit of an IT vibe. IT crowd vibe there. <laughs> Check that batteries are properly installed. Check that the batteries need replacing. No sound. Check if the volume is turned on. <laughs> House on fire. Turn it off. <laughs> no breathing. Try inhaling through lungs. Uh, check the batteries are flat and replacing. If it's got finger fringes appear on LCD screen during, bro during broadcast. And pictures blinking and distorted. Well, you might do that because the batteries that are in here are cheap as shit. It's got a screw in it as well, which is very, very annoying. Now, just for a, a, a size sort of... Oops, okay. I knew I'd do that, because apparently my arms don't like talking to each other. It's for a size comparison, without knocking the screen over. Here is my watch. It's not an amazing watch. 
that's the size of your screen we're looking at there. No bigger than a watch face. And this is the kind of watch face that you buy if you can't tell time without your glasses on, because I need big numbers to look at. So yeah, we're dealing with that, and um, there's my thumb. Taint big thumbiest in the world, but there's your A and there's your B. You can quite easily press both of them. Joy to the world, and here's the numpad. We always have to look at the numpad of any cheap gaming related thing, because there is dust on the screen. Only one way to do a numpad, really, and um, taint this way. You press one button and, like I said before, you can go from pressing that one to that one and, and press pretty much all four of them. But well, anyway, let's give it the benefit of the doubt. Maybe then I'll get bothered putting it back on all day. Now, I do fear that I'm going to have to play, play this at a funny angle. There's me. I'm going to have to play this through the viewfinder. I'm going to have to dust it first. Get all, all the filth off it. There we go. And we're going to have a look at it. Now, one thing that pleasantly surprised me, I won't zoom it in yet, but um, it, never, it never stops making that noise, which is just lovely. And the LCD screen itself is pretty good. I mean, I was thinking, hmm, maybe I'd have to close the blinds, but you know what? I'd get away with it. Obviously, if I was to play this in the normal reviewing position for which I do things, you've got Bow Opa telling what's happening on the screen, even I don't know. But to be fair, that is a more comfortable position. We're going to zoom in. Let's adjust my. Come on, undo. There we go. Adjust it down, like so. Oh no, we've got a bit sideways. Okay. <laughs> Apparently this is the world's worst tripod. Thank you, Wargos. I'm glad I paid £95 for this. You're only getting your six-month warranty thing back. Why isn't this tiny? Oh, I give up. Right, is it? Stand up. It's not going to kill you. Right, then. Oh. <clears throat> she stopped making noise. There we go. We're nearly there. Let me just zoom in a little bit more and stop moving a bloody tripod because apparently the 90 quid, 90 quid for a tripod and it can't stay still. Give it a bit more zoom. There we go. Look at it in all of its majesty, all of its zoomed in majesty and I'll probably forget to zoom back out in a minute because I'm dumb. Well, yeah. Retro game. There are over 100 games in here. Needless to say, we're not going to be playing them all. Because we're not <laughs> There's only an hour's memory worth on here. Let's have a quick flip through them. We've got Matchstick Man, Tank War, Seacross, Football, Gang Tai 3, The Agent, P Wang, Racing Car, CS Fire, Dinosaur War. Who will like the sound of that? A Flame Plant. <laughs> Took me a minute to see that there. Honey Mary. Alright then. Gem Gemstone, Apache Overkill. Where to go? Anywhere away from this fucking thing I'm holding here. Raiden. Domain or couple of plants. You wanna notice in a reoccurring theme, aren't we? Let me just get the, get the thing. What's it say? Uh, conveniently play your favourite retro games. Any of these ringing a bell to anybody? Because we've brought at least I've never heard of a single fucking one of these. I love some of the hilarious titles though. I'm particularly in love with um, Give Me Water. <laughs> I'm still not really in chat, are we? It feels like I'm holding it to the silly angle. Can everybody see alright? I'm afraid if you can't see, I'll not do anything about it. But yeah, there we go. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. do a bit forward. A bit more in. And it, it, I'm playing it through the viewfinder. And re um, there we go. Yeah, I'll do. Looks like I'm holding it to ski whiff somewhere. Oh, I'll give up. Right then. Snowball Disappear Boxes. I think that's that game that everybody knows about. Bird Bomber. Bird's Bomb, sorry. Fruit Skewer. That's probably um, a Plot City thing. I can't remember the name of it. It's just a clone of it. Eliminate. Colour Stone. Link Link. Hunger Frog. Disappear. Oh, I've already seen Disappear Birds. I've seen something that's disappeared. Receive Eggs. Oh, cheers. Connect Four. Hmm. I wonder what that game could be about. Ooh. My mind blows. <laughs> Running Cool. Tooper. Aight then. <laughs> War of Islands. 
Tank Attack, another tank game, Rocket Man, Burn up his out here alone, Demon War, Archer Wars, there's a lot of wars going on, there's a colony one here, there's Colour Impress, I hope it's purple, Quick Master, Monkey Running, Impossible, we're not playing that one, Twin Shot, Hurdle, Bomb Sweep, Cubic Tower, most of them are square, Air Raid Warden, that's just a job title, Air Fight, Frog Jump, Hammer, che <laughs> hammer Checking, Burn and Matthews uh, game there, Shoot Birds, Gem Puzzle, The Wall, Pink Floyd's song is apparently on here. Porter, Flying Disc, Frog Jump 2, Greedy Snake, that's probably just regular snake. <laughs> Chain Reaction, I'm caught in the middle of. Be a Waitress, <laughs> Shoot Balls, Blocks, Block Saws, that's a, God, that, is it, hang on, that, um, I think it's this button that, oh, uh, uh, God damn it. So apparently that doesn't do anything. We're past number 50, weren't we? Uh, I want to see if that's the game of Black... Everybody's Black, because I had a Blackberry for years that refused to bloody die. I think I had it for nine years and just never bothered to replace it, replace it because, you know, it seemed pointless, really. It still worked. I could still go on Facebook. What is it, this button? It is as well. <laughs> this was on, like, every... Every bloody, what's it, the one? Every phone and it was on every computer, yeah. If I can remember how to do the first level, it's... I oh, know, I can't remember how to do the first level. I can, there we go. It does that victory sound for every single game, by the way. Oh, turn the bridge off. I'm not just any significant lack of um, amount of lag here because I'm pressing a button. Right, this is me pressing a button. It's not really happening, is it? Oh bollocks! I've done it now. There we go. I haven't done it. Yeah, we sort of. Um, yeah, all going through here. Unfortunately, when you do press that button, it does take you right back to number one, so it's quicker to go backwards, I think. Bear versus Bald. <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> I don't quite understand how that works. Duck Thief. Clear map. Duck. Eating worms. Oh, no, thank you. Mars mission. On all sides. M Mushroom ball. Destroy Hubble. Well, Russians are getting the Russians for you. Brick. Moving balls. Bold. <laughs> Who? Boldy Egg. <laughs> Alright then, tic-tac-toe, yes, play your favourite games, I love tic-tac-toe. Guest plants, lavender, poppy, cactus, anything, no. car parking, baggage claim, <laughs> he throw the game. Wall ball, sky wall, bastion, NS shaft, shoot penguins, free me, elude balls, figure, Aaron, what? Aaron Able War, Fruit, Fruit Night, 2048, isn't that a book? Receive apples? No, oh, thank you. I'm, I'm trying to keep the doctor away. Toxophilly, horse that's been a bit too close to Chernobyl. Receive gift? Oh, thank you. Monkey Jump, Tolower, to Tolower, Toto, what? Fun Pair, <laughs> Bird Week. This week on Bird Week, tits, bums. Sl sl is that supposed to be slalom or slalom? I don't know if I'm doing it right. Eliminate two, bomb checking, fruit machine, basketball, settle puzzle, same animals, <laughs> magic ball, the feet punk, the foot punk even, the feet punk, I don't know what I mean. I, you know what I meant. Brightstone, shoot hexapod if you insist, airdrop, greedy boys. <laughs> greedy boys, <laughs> sorry, I just said that as I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Say, hey, same bears. We just we've seen. There's a, a referring thing here. Jumping pandas, save bears, flying bullet two. Robot. I don't even really think we need to save the bears here on number one and three. The fighting bull people. I'm pretty sure they're they're doing a okay. Robot roundup. Falcon man kills zombies. Greedy Jerry eating bulls. Tank attack two. So that's going to be the same as the other one. It'd just be like a clone of the second level. Circus Charlie. There we go, that's how we know this is a cheap Chinese knockoff thing. That's because any one of them you pick up, 
I'll have a dodgy version of whatever Circus Charlie is. Um, just look at, I believe John Tr John Tron. A good few years ago, did a bunch of bootleg um, plug and play things, and Circus Charlie was on one of them seven thousand times because it, it was like a game that had seventy six thousand games on it. It's quite funny. I, I'd recommend watching John Tron for a more serious look at gaming stuff. See, so, yeah, I don't know what that even says. Seriation, serration, probably serration. Magic pick. I thought it was pick. Find bombs. No thanks. That sounds a bit dangerous. Outline. Shoot fruit. Resource war. Balloon war. Rabbit roundup. Applejack. Elevator action. Cartridge. Magic stone. Flying broom. Wing dream. Shoot monster. Poker game. Destroy bricks if you insist. Receive fruit. Uh, and so lucky down a bit. Beat pig. A bit cruel. Number thing. Our block shows. And we're back through the list. Have we all absorbed that information? It never stops making that noise, by the way. Um, there's no mute button. There's just a thing that looks like it would do the volume, but actually does nothing. Oh, I can't get the switch to move. There we go. Now then, which one shall we try? Well, I'm going to try a few. Let's see what footballs are like. I can't know oh, which one did it. It was this one, I believe. Football! Does it get any more basic than that? So I take it I have to score a goal. Damn you! I can't see what I'm doing. Ugh. I don't get it, what am I supposed to do? I'm a, I can move me, but I can't repeat it. Well, that was riveting. <laughs> oh! That button wasn't doing anything earlier. Anyway, so that was football. It was about as um, enth enth enthralling as watching rain fill a bucket. Racing car. <laughs> yeah, this is the kind of music you think of when you think of racing, sure. Why not? Oh god, stage run, score nothing, time 100. There we go. And is, is, is anyone else racing me? Probably I've got 96 seconds to do something. Hmm. Uh, has everybody had a good weekend? Weather was alright in most places. Bit of bad flooding in Scotland. I hope everyone's alright up that way. Did anyone hear about what happened to um, Netflix? Apparently, getting a load of people. Church complaining about good omens with David Tennant. Even though it's not Netflix's thing, it's someone else's. Oh, the guy who played um, Alf Ventris in Heartbeat recently passed away in 79. It's very sad. I used to watch Heartbeat with my granddad. Hmm. <laughs> Let's try another game, shall we? I mean, they can't all be that bad. They can't. <laughs> Ugh, I'm never playing that one again. CS Fire. A flame. We're going to have to try a flame plant. I'd... What on it? There's three mutant tomatoes. No idea what I need to do. I was hoping this that wouldn't contain some instructions. Um... The slug beast. Got him. How do I move? Do I just have to... How do I get you? How do I move my character? There's no way of moving your doodle. There's no numpads. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back before this short advert. Wow. 
We very rarely had an occasion where the tripod completely gives up because it doesn't want to look at something anymore. But anyway, we'll persevere. Um, from what we could tell from that game, it didn't work. <laughs> So yeah, whatever a flame plant was, you can kill the first enemy, but then you can't kill anybody else. <laughs> Apache Overkill. Where to go? Come on, we'll play where to go, eh, shall we? I want to know where to go. Where to go? This really is annoying to try and do, especially if I'm playing it through a viewfinder and it's tiny. Oh, better jump like that. Carrot. Pardon? <laughs> so apparently the screen moves so fast that you can't grab the things that are on it. Have to jump over these uh, walls, apparently you don't have to. I'm falling off the screen. I'm having to, I mean, to guess where I'm going. This isn't gameplay. I'm eating carrots. I'm no longer. I'm no longer on the screen. That's enough of that. We've had a few games. Can't get. Can't be all that bad. Give me water. Come on, we're going for all the strange titles. Oh, it's like um, some form of plumbing game. What am I? What am I supposed to do? Oh, I see. There's a... <laughs> Where am I getting the water to and from? Oh, it's over there, and I've got to get to that corner. I see. I see what's happening. Remember... How are you supposed to give things a chance? I'm not, I'm not in frame. There we go. I'm starting to... Starting to lose my mind. I've never seen any of these games before. What's what's Honey Mary? Is Honey Mary any good? Is there play Honey Mary? Oh, look at that art. It's so fucking good. <laughs> That's just the sound. Oh, what is happening on the screen? Who am I? Oh, apparently that's me. Where am I off? Where am I going? <laughs> I paid 12 quid for this. <laughs> Are they all going to be this awful? Right, we're going to go, um, go the, uh, the other way around. We're going to start from the way up here. Bear vs. Bull. We've got to try that. What the, f what the sweet Jesus am I looking at? Alright then. I'm not seeing many. I'm seeing a bear, I'm not seeing much bold. Who are you? Oh. Apparently, you're not my friend. Hey, eh? what? Do I have to. Oh, so I have to sort of kung fu kick the car? Alright then. Now he got me. He fell on my head. Hmm. <laughs> I don't get it. We're seeing him. Um, there's an awful lot of bear. We're seeing his lovely white ass there under the letter U. Not seeing a lot of bold. I'm sick of hearing this dainty tune. But <laughs> duck thief, clear map, duck. What's duck? Is it going to be duck hunt? Uh, sweet Jesus, am I fucking... Alright. Does anyone know what's happening yet? 
I don't think this is how you're supposed to handle eggs, but sure. Um, where am I going with this this egg exactly? I didn't want to drop him all the way down there. It looked like it might have hurt. Oh, he's falling on his head, this egg has. You can't really tell it's an egg. Will you move, Mr. Egg? I peed. Oh, no, I peed. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Wow. It's certainly something. There's no instructions at all. There's no manual. There's nothing on the internet. What is this? Whom, whom at Asda, or more to the point, Walmart, I believe, because Asda's part of the Walmart family, looked at this on some sort of Chinese black market and thought, yes, this is just what people want in Staffordshire and uh, the rest of wherever Walmart sells stuff. What fucking lunatic looked at this and thought, yes, everyone's dad will love this. It was with the Father's Day stuff, I do I... Okay, we'll, we're gonna, we'll, we'll ignore the, the the fact that most of the games have no instructions and that you don't know what you're doing. More than anything, it's the tactile feel of this. You know, it doesn't feel like it's going to fall to bits, but when, it's like when you notice things like this. Not the actual hole itself, I believe that's supposed to be there. There's like a chip in the plastic there. You know, the stickers on slanted. All the buttons feel like they're made of the kind of rubber that you'd pour under your... Like, it's like, it feels like laptop feet, but like ones that have got a bit too hot and sticky and started degrading. You can't really control the number because you press one button and you end up being in six different directions. The A and B button appears to be on their own sort of plane of existence. It needs more than this amount of buttons, too. It needs two up there, or at the very least, maybe one there, two there. Because some of the games just feel like they don't belong on this system. It almost feels like they just chucked a load of ROMs and essentially what this is is just a circuit board attached to an LCD screen with a blob of memory on it. Now I'm not going to sit here and play all the games but if you see one of these in Asda for some reason pick it up for, all, for what it's worth pick it up. I mean it's it's alright I suppose. I could sit here and talk absolute tunnel about it but one thing that it needs to be remembered is that the games that are on this mostly are all ROMs. They are all sort of 8-bit genre from that time ones where you had no instructions really in some cases and you, was, you died once you had to learn to get good at the game unlike most games now where you just sort of point a gun at the nearest moving person or object and shoot it and woo that's your game or drive around a bit you know so it's terrible it's still a terrible thing but I mean it's the screen's alright, that's one redeeming thing for it. I figured out that that's, the mute button works properly, which makes it be quiet. Uh, it comes with this lovely, lovely bit of string so you can put it on your keys. You know, unless you've got a fucking phone, <laughs> in which case you could play any game on Android or iOS. That would be a million times better than this. I have been insignificant fellow. Welcome back to the fucking gaming content.